can I shoot more? I gotta ask you more questions, or how was it from your end? Well, the interesting thing is when we actually came together in in, um, in LA to play, he was very crafty about keeping us all far apart. So we were, we, there was like the central stage that we were going to play on with all the instruments there, but we were kept in like these trailers separate. So there was no conferring of notes. So when we were up there, we were really, you know, having to to pull it together on the spot. And um, I guess that's what a documentary maker does. So there was no sort of cribbing of notes or anything. You know, it's cool. Jack, how is this film different from other things you do, music videos or other interviews? Uh, you know, what, what made this uh, different in that respect? Thanks, Hitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the interesting part about it, I thought, was, uh, first off, it just seemed like Davis didn't really know what kind of movie he wanted to make, and I like that idea. <laughs> 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 it sounds funny, but it actually is true. When people kind of come in with uh, definite goals of I'm going to make, you know, uh, Superman 8 or whatever, you're gonna, you, you kind of think, well, it's, it might not work out. But if you kind of come in and say, well, it's sort of about this, and it's sort of about this, and it's sort of about that, then now, now we can get somewhere, you know. And, uh, I like the idea that it was part of, about something, you know, mechanical that, you know, three people all have a different take on. And not just three people, but millions of people all have a take on. Why do we care about this? Six fingers. Why don't Why don't we like the sitar? Why isn't it the clarinet? Why do we so many people <laughs> fascinated by this hunk of wood? You know, so that's what that's what interests me. I think it's the electric part. Oh, it's the electric <laughs> part. <laughs> Leslie, you had to wrangle all this as, as the producer. Uh, what, what What kind of feat was that? I too was really surprised. Davis took this trip to New York and we were all nervous and pacing and walking around. It was this big meeting with Jimmy's managers and we were all sitting on pins and needles and once he said yes, then we went after our, you know, went after Edge and Jack and couldn't believe it when they all said yes. And then once that happened in terms of wrangling, Try getting three rock stars to be available on the same day. <laughs> like, we made a movie with Al Gore and I thought his schedule was ridiculous. <laughs> this was harder. That's why they call them rock stars. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, uh, when, when, when you're you know, jamming with two other you know, guitarists who have very different styles and how do you, like a creative question here, and maybe for all of you, like, you know, how do you, how do you work out, like, what you're going to play versus what they're going to play, and... Well, this is what I was saying earlier wrong. There wasn't, you, there wasn't any sort of um, sketch of what we were going to do. We just went on there, we had a conversation, and one guy would come up with this number and we'd play along with it. Uh, and that's how it was. It was pretty, it pretty much sort of shaped itself along the way, really. Do we have time uh, for uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Jack? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you in the film? Do you have a lot to say. And you come from uh, a very different end of, of where they come from. You come from this very. You know, uh, it's called America. <laughs> <laughs> It's called, it's called Detroit. I grew up there too. Hey. I, I used to shop at St. Vincent de Paul and I should have got that guitar otherwise. <laughs> um, but uh, whereas, I mean, you, you do kind of talk about, uh, you know, I'm going to steal these guys, I want to steal these guys' tricks. And, and uh, does, that, does that side of it, the high end, like what Edge does, interest you? High end. Well, he's, you know, he's got more pedals than you. <laughs> I'm older than he is. Give me a second. No, but the, uh, uh, there's there's a lot of things you can uh, be done creatively with, uh, you know, limited, you know, unlimited, you know, means unlimited uh, opportunity in front of you. And I've over the last few years I've concentrated on a lot of projects that we're limited and constricting to try to get more creativity out of limited means, you know, just so I can learn more, you know, and one day when I'm older. <laughs>
<laughs> Amy Angel mailed me a couple of big muff pedals. Just... <laughs> Certain guitars, certain amps, certain boxes, they just sound great. And that's, that's what we're all looking for. Oh, all right. Wow. I'll use this mic. <laughs> but Jimmy did make the point. He likes the wires. <laughs> Jimmy said that we shouldn't be talking about this when we were filming because if we talk about all the stuff we like, then we won't see it very often anymore because it'll get someone else will buy it. <laughs> So for, for the last question to each of you, if you had to take one guitar to a desert island, what do you take? <laughs> J Jimmy's guitar, so I'm going to take his. <laughs> hey, that's funny, I was going to say Jack's guitar, but it custom work. Um, I'd, yeah, I'd, no, I'd take the Explorer. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you guys could all come to Toronto. It's a real honor for us. I'm glad that no one was using their light industry in the film. Uh, I have to warn you about that. Thank you, Davis, Leslie, Thomas, Ed, Jimmy, Jeff. Thank you.